India Expo marks the end of the um, India study abroad trip. And what happens is on the trip, they collect some data, they perform research, and they come back to the US. They compile all their data together and they have a poster presentation like we have here. It's just a celebration of our trip, highlighting their research and, and hoping that people can come and gather and enjoy some good food and, and uh, learn something about what these students did. So I think it's a good idea to have this to show what we did while we were over there as well as give people more information on the trip in general. So it's like they're getting our trip in an hour and a half. <laughs> So I think it's a lot of fun. We have a diverse group of people that went, ranging from computer science to just other fields in science and teaching. So you can see everyone's research and all the hard work they put into it. It's not just sending students to an international location, but they've got a research plan and they actually conduct research. It's integrating an international experience and then also a research component as well. My research topic is about Alzheimer's. My research topic was technology integrated in the classroom. My research was women in technology in India versus the United States. Each of these steps in the research process is an assignment, so they go through this entire process. And we are hoping that in, while going through this process, they get interested in research. And the trip was a cultural exchange. Students were trying to learn about the Indian culture. Um, they were also interviewing people in an area of education or healthcare or technology or management to do a little bit more research about a topic that they had been um, reading about. When we were there we got to experience everyone's research topics that they went on. So we not only got to learn about the history about India but we got to see individual like topics and how it has incorporated into the technology, the schooling, the medical field which creates India to be a place that it is today. And what that does it allows students to really understand different cultures, but also get to know the, the business community and the technology uh, advances outside of the United States. It's a very big wow experience for students to see all that. And they come back and they, they're, um, they're just full of energy and they're just chattering about what they've learned and found out and they're excited about maybe someday having a job where they're interfacing with a group of people from India. One of the primary objectives of this trip is to help students see beyond what they know here. Many of our students are from rural Minnesota and we're hoping to expand that worldview and gain an understanding for how people live in other parts of the world so that they can, as they move forward, think about their life and the, the work that they choose a little bit differently. I think the highlight of the trip was to see how humble the people were to us and accepting of us and they wanted to show us where they lived, how they ate, and they, they took us in as family and we didn't feel like outcasted or anything like that. I would say other students should go on this trip. Even though it isn't offered every year, it's something that is very valuable. Just because you aren't sightseeing all the time, you're able to go into like the culture of India in hospitals and in different companies and businesses. I would say that you should definitely do it. It's a great experience to go see another culture, see how they live, and just to travel with some great people. The major thing that I brought back, just a better perspective on life itself.